my name is Steve Seabolt. I'm the product manager for heavy duty tractors and micro trenching for the Ditch Witch organization. This year at IQ 2017, we've brought our full lineup of micro trenching products and we're showcasing not only the products but a little about the process in which they're used. Uh, the telecom industry is continuing to drive usage of, of micro trenching as they all race to build out the last mile to homes and businesses. Uh, micro trenching is being embraced as a cleaner, faster, less expensive, less invasive method of, of product installation. So the first stage in the process is to locate and expose utilities. Since we're working in the road, typically that's done with a you first call the one call service for the locate and then you utilize the vac product to expose the utility. In this case you also have to get through the hardscape, be that concrete or asphalt. That's where the coring units come into play. So one of the new products showcased at the show this year are, is our line of coring products with a partnership with Utilicore. Uh, this unit mounted on our SK1050 is capable of core diameters from 4 inches up to 80, 18 inches and then its big brother is capable of up to 24 inches. The coring unit is utilized on micro trenching jobs uh, in advance when you are locating utilities. Uh, but prior to being able to vac down, obviously you have to get through the hardscape, through the asphalt or concrete, and that's where the core drill comes into play. Uh, it's also utilized throughout the job as you have to make bends with the fiber um, and, and open up the road. We have two saws here today, the MT-16 and the MT-9. Uh, and, that, and we also have a third product, the MT-12, that's not shown here today, but we have the smallest and largest represented at the show. The 16 is utilized for mainline installations, where the 9 is used for crosscuts in confined and urban areas. The largest of the three mi ditch witch micro trenching products is the MT-16. We have it here at the show mounted on our RT-80, uh, and the MT-16 is capable of trenching up to 16 inches in depth from 0 to 16 inches with a vertical plunge and it can go as narrow as 3 eighths of an inch up to 2 inches wide. The MT-16 uh, is mounted with a, a traverse configuration so you go center line or a full right offset. The saw will swing uh, to follow around 90 degree turns and cul-de-sacs. It will also tilt 6 degrees left and right. Uh, the saw has a floating housing with a hydraulic accumulator that maintains ground pressure on the on the asphalt for a good clean cut. So it's been a very popular machine with, with our customers uh, for, for those reasons. You then install product fiber, uh, then come in with the reinstatement, uh, flowable fill, and a, a mastic sealant uh, to prevent water penetration. Um, and then we have our reinstatement products, our 1CM concrete mixer on the R300 Zon. It's used for the flowable fill uh, in the, and the reinstatement process. And it's a result of customers asking us for products to help reinstate the micro trench after the fiber is installed. It's a 100 gallon or a half yard uh, concrete mixer so where you can mix on demand or feed into it from a, a batch truck. Uh, the auger system will push the concrete out of the gate that's used for metering it into the hopper. The hopper then funnels it into the ditch. The hopper floats along on this tire, a four bar linkage. Uh, we have an electric vibrator here to help the concrete continue to flow through the hopper during installation. But what you're left with is a, a ditch almost filled with, with a flowable fill uh, and it's ready for the next stage which would then be the, uh, the mastic sealant or the final top coat to seal the ditch and prevent water intrusion.